So as I'm digging into this world of AI and how it can really just enhance, be your own personal assistant, okay, I'm ready to try making my own chatbot. So our team has an instructional technology leadership academy on October 16th. And what if I created a chatbot for participants to be able to get questions about the who, the what, the where, the how, the when of our event. So I chose to use Poe. Um, and here's what I got. So I created a bot called All for DigiLearn, and that's our handle on X. And um, I'll walk you through the behind the scenes, but here's the final project. Um, Here's the opening greeting. My name is R4 DigiLearn. I'm your virtual assistant to help you get ready for ITLA. Then I ask, well, when is ITLA? And it tells me October 16th. Where is ITLA? And it got me because I forgot to actually put the specific uh, location in here. So I had to go back and change the source information. Um, but it does lead you to our, our website. How much does it cost? $90. Who's the director of digital learning? Dr. Leger grew. What sponsors will be at ICLA? Nailed that. What's the schedule? Breaks that down for you. I need to bring my own food. No, you don't need to bring your own food. Where is ICLA? And so after I realized that I had the answer wrong, I went back and added it to my document um, the address and upload it again. It also added some more information about, you know, just a general statement. What is ITLA about? So let's go behind the scenes. To get started, I came here in the upper left-hand corner, create a bot. I chose a prompt bot. And then filled in all of this information here. I'll show you what that looks like. If I go under the bot that I created, R4 DigiLearn, with these three dots for edit. You can see how I filled it out. It's a prompt bot. I got a picture from Canva. Just came over here under the elements menu and searched for robots. So that was super easy to fill in that part. Thanks, bot. Where do you want it to kind of pull its knowledge database from? And I chose to be team for a mini. But other suggested one is Claude 3 Haiku. Tell your bot how to behave, how to respond to users' messages. To try to be clear and specific as possible. You are R4 DigiLearn. You will respond to users' questions about the R4 Digital Learning Team's Instructional Technology Leadership Academy October 16th. They also have these really nice um, a guide to prompting, which gives you more info about how to really write a nice prompt. Reminding you to write second person instead of third, be clear, use brackets, and you do markdown. If you want knowledge base, this was the fun part. So I just have a Word document here where nothing fancy, I just started kind of brain dumping about the conference, what's going to happen, lunch, who our sponsors are, what the schedule is where to register the website, how much it costs, who to contact if you have questions, the location. And I attach that. I love that if I would have used a website, that there's this toggle button here to cite sources, where as the chatbot responds, it will show them specifically where the information was pulled from. And it does that even from the document that I used. And then your greeting. What do you want it to say when participants first um, arrive on a page? Give it a, um, a profile. Will it be something publicly accessible? Do you want it to follow up with other recommendations? Do you want this profile to show up in the bio? Those are things you can turn off. All right, so I click Save. And here's a chat ready to start. What is ICLA? Very nice. And it's not just straight out of my document. It still took that verbiage and kind of put a, a, a natural response on top of it. How much does it cost? 
Yeah, you could have just said $90, but it also followed through with our link for our team. Uh-oh, <laughs> there's not actually going to be breakfast, so I can just take that off. In fact, let me show you how easy it is to make that swap since breakfast will not be served. If I go back up to the top here and click the edit bot again, uh, I can change my Word document and remove that part about breakfast being served and say no from 7 to 8 is registration and networking. Save that. Exit. Add a knowledge source. There we go. Let it process. All right, it's done. It's saved. Now let me ask it. <laughs> Will there be food? All right, great. Now it only has lunch will be provided. So, okay, I'm loving the potential of this uh, for classroom use. Um, an interesting way to have students do research. If all you have is a PDF to upload or you can drop text or a website that you want them to refer to or just one more layer for students to check against um, what they've learned before we do a whole class review. So, so many uses for chatbots and I'm excited. I obviously want to, you know, warn students about putting in personal, uh, personally identifiable information and having those conversations about, you know, it's still a computer. It doesn't know everything. It may make mistakes. So, but the potential is there. So thanks for watching.